we've been looking to consumer market researchers at JDPower.com for input on all of these alternative fuels and technologies. It's finally time to find out who they've chosen as their top picks. What we did at JDPower.com is we created several different awards. We've created an award for the healthiest of the green vehicles, also the fastest of the green vehicles, and then we have our overall innovative award for a particular vehicle. I bet I know who won the healthiest. Well, that shouldn't be very hard to figure out. Obviously, the human-powered vehicle is healthy in a number of ways. It's healthy for the environment. It doesn't utilize the fossil fuel. There aren't any emissions, and the rider gets in better shape just moving around town. Can you imagine if everybody in L.A. rode a bicycle, how great this would be out here? Well, you know, L.A. is pretty spread out, but in a lot of cities where they're pretty tight, you can get around town relatively easy. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It relieves congestion. There's a lot of benefits to it. Again, if the weather's right and you're not going very far, it's a great alternative. And what about the fastest? Well, you know, we certainly had to nod uh, Bill Dubay's efforts in the quarter mile on that kilocycle. I mean, that was amazing to see him take those feats on that vehicle. Sure, it is a motorcycle. It's not for everyone. But what he did there is he took these batteries and really pushed the envelope on those. And that's going to push the technology. We're all going to benefit from battery technology because electric vehicles, another great alternative. And let's be honest, he's having a blast. Oh, he is having a blast. Electric vehicles are quiet, no emissions on those either. Something to really look forward to in the future. And what about the most innovative? Well, overall, what we did is we took all the different attributes of alternative fuels, reasons that people would consider them, whether it was foreign dependency, uh, environmental impact, what about the cost or convenience of, of these vehicles? And not only the cost of the fuel, but the cost of the vehicles themselves. We kind of put it to our research and forecasting department Overall winner seems to be right now, in terms of technology, biodiesel. Now, the vehicle that most closely resembled that on the program, of course, was the Lovecraft. Was the vegetable oil vehicle. Here's a vehicle with a relatively inexpensive conversion. You can take what would have been a waste product. These vegetable oils from restaurants that would have been thrown away and would have, you know, been in some dump or some uh, waste area. Now this guy is driving around the vehicle in this, and it smells great too. So vegetable oil, biodiesel, that's the best. Well, certainly in the short term right now, this is the type of thing people can put in their vehicles right now. You showed some great technologies from the, the battery powered, electric, to the solar powered, to even the hydrogen. And this is all where our future is. But right now, we need to have that technology develop a little bit further. So our award went to the biodiesel. Now that we've heard from JDPower.com, it's time for you, the viewer, to decide. Go to their website, jdpower.com, watch the videos of any of the segments you may have missed, and vote for the vehicle or technology you think is the most viable. You've seen all of the alternatives, now you decide.